Hey guys, my name is Laura and I'm known as Thrifty Boss Babe here on YouTube as well as Instagram. And I did some sourcing today at the regular Goodwill retail stores. Um, today I get a little bit of a discount, so I always go on Wednesdays. And I got a really big haul. I probably got a hundred items. And I think I spent, let's see, I spent 67 at the first one and 70 at the second one. So yeah, I still got just under two dollars, around two dollars per item, which is really good. Um, so let me show you what I got. And I tried really hard to keep my price point, um, or I mean my return of investment price on the higher end today. So I, um, went for things that will get, mostly, that will get $30 or more on resale value, which is good. I This is my big find of the day. It's a woman's coat. I know it doesn't look like it. It kind of looks like a men's blazer. It's like that oversized structured look. Um, and it's like a metallic blue tweed. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. This camera's not really picking it up very well. But here's the tag. It's called a Dean. A deem. Can you see that? A deem. And there's only brand new ones selling on eBay right now. So I don't really know what to price it at. But the new price is between like three, four hundred dollars So I'm not really sure what to price it at. Because there's no used ones. So we'll see. But that was a good pickup. And then I got an Isaac Mizrahi. I really hope that's how you pronounce that last name because I am horrible with brand names as it is and this last name I can I feel like I never get him right um, but it's a real brown suede jacket and it's in a great size it's in a size 20 women's and it has like these quilted details on the side it's really nice um, and I paid let me see I just cut the tags off of these it was marked six six dollars which is like really high for me but I get a discount on those um I must not have got 100 items I probably got like 75 I didn't look at my receipt I probably should have before making this video I know how much I spent because I just looked at my bank account but I didn't look at the receipts because I already filed them away I keep all my receipts in like a big plastic um envelope that I keep in my car so I can just stick it in there for the month and I know where they are so I can file them in my taxes later. Um, this is a down Talbot's jacket. Talbot's Talbot's. And one just sold on eBay for about 60 bucks. That was a good one. I'm going on the jackets first because they're bulky and I want to get them out of the way. And then I found a good um, motorsports jacket. This is Olympia Motorsports. And um, Motorcycle jackets and like racing jackets do really well. Men's. Looks like a large. Men's large. Ooh, I need to cut the tags off. I'm going to process these while I show these to you because I need to get them ready for pictures. I have a ton of pictures to get done. And I'm trying to get everything listed in inventory. Before I go to eBay Open next week. What? I'm gonna be there. Hope to see you all there. If you see me, say hi. I am not a shy person. I will totally talk to you. I like to think I'm nice. So if you wanna come say hi, by all means, please come say hi. I won't be there with my husband, so I'll be kinda lonely. You can come talk to me. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren sweater. Just a navy um, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. There's tag. Um, yeah. And at my Goodwills, um, all the tops are marked three twenty nine, and the dresses. Why they price the dresses the same as tops is beyond me, but I'm totally cool with it <laughs> because the other thrift stores in my area mark dresses up. But the Goodwills doesn't, so I'm happy about that. Oh, this dress I might keep. <laughs> it is a Bebe 
like halter top. Just basic black dress. It has like a little wrap detail right here. Um, but it's like ruched and it's got a little tie to keep it up right here. Super cute. I love anything black. I love black. And it's in my size. Super cute. This was a cool find. Of course, I just noticed right here that there's a little bit of bleaching, like right here on the sleeve for this. It's a um, reversible Harley Davidson men's zip up hoodie. It's got embroidered Harley, Harley Davidson on the back. And then this little emblem right here, it's a zip up. And then I know it's reversible because there was no size tag in it, so I'm going to have to measure it. Um, but it's totally reversible. The zipper goes either way, and then it has zebra print on the inside. Kind of like the zebra print thing. And more in, with the pockets on the inside. So I know it's reversible. Really cool. But it has like these little bleach marks on the sleeve. Um, but I'm going to try to get it out with some, or I mean get it out, just like blend it in with some uh, fabric paint. You can get some at the craft store that's specifically like for bleach spots. And sometimes with black it'll work pretty well. Like you put it on, let it sit for a day, and then wash whatever you put it on, and it tends to blend in. Here is a, even though the San Francisco Giants aren't doing very well right now, <laughs> let's have a moment of silence for the San Francisco Giants season because they're my team, and I'm really upset. And I don't even want to watch them lately. <sighs> Anyways, um, this is a pink by Victoria's Secret, and their sports stuff um, tends to do pretty well. And I misplaced my scissors. Oh well, some of these are just popping right off. But yeah, the sports lines for the Victoria's Secrets do pretty well. Um, this is a bodysuit, and I love turtlenecks, obviously. This is a misguided bodysuit turtleneck. That would be pretty good. Um, those won't sell for $30. They'll sell for like 15 to 20 This one was a good pickup. Um, Lemmy for Nina Leo Leonard. It's a sweater uh, dress. And it's like a cow neck, turtle neck -y thing. You can't tell against my black turtleneck. <laughs> I'm blending. Um, but it's a long sweater dress. That'll do really well. Apparently it's brand name. Um, here's a Venus. And I don't pick up all Venus, but it tends to do pretty well for me. And this one's in style for sure. It's got like the lace up right here. That 90s lace up style is in, and it's a shame, it's a um, chambray dress. Ooh. Yeah, very 90s grunge. It'll sell. And then I got this torrid. Can't tell if this is a top or a dress. Oh, it's, I think it's a top. But it's like this satin halter top. Like a going out top with some jewel blingage on the collar. And it's flowy. Size 2. I'll pick up the bigger torrid sizes because they sell well. Here's an anthropology piece, Bailey 44. It's oversized, striped, dolman sleeve, knit, flowy top. Here's Bailey 44 tag. It's like a ribbon, pretty much. See it? Here's a Bay Bay top. It's like a sweater top, and if this doesn't sell, I'm going to keep it cute. It's like a mauvey grayish brown color. I don't like brown, but this is like more on the gray side, so I might actually wear it. Bay Bay. And it's got like this... Um, pretty knit pattern on the sleeve. It's a fitted sweater. Um, Boston proper. Some blingage. Bling bling. 
Boston proper. I love Boston proper. I really do. It's a nice brand. And it sells super well. Super well for me. Like anything. I even had a Boston proper shirt that clearly had like some fading on it. And I put it in the listing and everything. And somebody still bought it for like a decent price. I'm going to use my teeth. Sorry, I don't know where my scissors went. I just had them. Anyways, I got my course top. Nice tunic style top with some really pretty bottom on it. And it's cotton. My neck. Got on sleeves. Michael Kors. It's an extra large. Perfect. Extra large is awesome. I was excited about this one. It's a new with tags Tommy Bahama dress in a size medium. Very tropical. And it's got like the braided neckline. It's pretty. I couldn't tell what it was originally because I ripped it off, but just the bottom of it. The rest of the tag is in tacked. There's another anthro scrapbook. It's like a striped wagon look oversized dolman thingy. Here's the tag. All the hold on, the Goodwill tags all in its business. <laughs> uh, here it is. Scrapbook. It's like one of those crazy anthropology tags. Here's an International Concepts silk shirt. I'm secretly hoping that doesn't sell because I want it. I love anything black and gray. And it's in my size. And it's 100% silk and pretty. It has ruffles down the front. This one was a good pickup too. Um, Spencer Alex, or Alexis, I'm sorry. Spencer Alexis. This was expensive. I don't know why, because it's just like a gauzy, lacy, I mean, it's pretty. It's got like the raw hemline. It's got some pretty detail. But it was very expensive. Might be able to get like, I don't know, 40 bucks for that stuff. Let me get my phone. I can actually tell you guys when I'm getting this stuff. When I do things like this in the store, when I'm looking things up, I just go so fast that when I get home, I don't remember. And somebody, I forget who it was, it was somebody on Instagram, but I follow way too many people on Instagram to remember exactly who it was, had a very good tip to screenshot when you're doing um, comparables on solds when you're in the store so you don't forget when you go home and list. Of course, I never remember to do that when I'm in the store because I'm such in a hurry. Um, yeah, they're selling for like, I don't know, anywhere between four, oh, some of these are different looking. I don't know, anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, this is a Hot Topic dress, strappy dress, obviously. It's cute. It's got like wooden, it's very safari-esque. It's got giraffes on it. It's got the wooden buttons and it's got like the open back. I'm going to start listing on Poshmark. So some of these I'm going to list on Posh, obviously that one. Um, but I'm not going to pick up any more dress. Like after this trip. I'm not going to pick up any more summer dresses like that. I'm going to go all winter. Torrid animal print, which is good. Torrid. Boop. It's like a sweatshirt thing. Eh? This is so cute and I'm secretly hoping this one doesn't sell too. And it's in my size. Why does the cute stuff have to be in my size? I want it to not be in my size so I can make more money. <laughs> um, this is a Daniel Rain. 
from Stitch Fix, probably. And it's a jacket. It's a utility jacket. Super cute. It's got the black sleeves and the drawstring waist. And it's striped inside. How stinking cute. Like, you can't even see it because I didn't zip it up. don't mind me. It's been a long day. Anybody else like extremely tired after sourcing? It wears me out. I love it, but it wears me out. Now you can see it. It's cute. And it's got like this, so, well, this is actually a real zipper. What is going on up here? There's no hood in this. What's the point of having a zipper up there? There's no hood in it. Whatever. It's still cute. And then, um, I got this White House black market dress, and it's got some ruching at the top. Super, super cute. Glowy at the bottom. The moss paisley print. Peasant style sleeveless dress. Size six. It's not my size, so that's good. Super cute. What's this? Flying Tomato. I love this brand. It's like just this, like I said, this is the last trip I'm going to be buying these little summer dresses. But it's this white eyelet lace dress. It'll do well. That brand is very boho and it flies, flies off the shelf. Alright, let me get these price tags out so I can show you this. I should not be doing that with my teeth. My orthodontist would kill me. Okay, another um, Boston proper. This is not just any Boston proper. <laughs> uh, it has a secret in the back. Look at the blingage in the back. It's like all business in the front. It's like a mullet. It's all business in the front and a party in the back. Look at that. That is sexy in the back with the lace up and the bling bling. Look at that. Boston proper trying to be all sexy. Anyways, you can catch a fish with that stuff. <laughs> uh, anyways. Ah, this one was rough. Okay. This is a Madewell top. Just your basic cotton Madewell top. Got like a long line hem in the back. Thin knit. Dolan from Anthro. Dolan. This one's super cute. Super, super cute. It's got like the satin pocket and the satin lovely bottom. Really pretty. And then it's got that satin stripe down the back. Stripage. It's cute. Eileen Fisher. This is a shirt dress. Like a cottony shirt dress. Might be a linen blend. Let me look. <laughs> Where's the size tag? Right. Mm -mm. No, it's organic cotton. Whoop. Eileen Fisher. Super long. It's like a calf length shirt dress. That lagging look. Um, lag lagging, lagging, whatever. White House Black Market. Thank goodness this is not in my size. I might still try to squeeze into it. Super cute. It's black. I like it. You can't tell on camera, maybe a little bit, but there's like super big rufflage down the front of this dress. And it's just like a body con dress. And you see the rufflage? Oh, maybe a little bit. This way? This way? This way? No. There's ruffles. This one. What is this? Oh, this is a Neiman Marcus silk shirt. I'm so ladylike. Not. Here's a Neiman Marcus. Just your basic shirt, 
as a keyhole back. Basic, basic. But it's so, and it's from Neiman Marcus. I'll buy it. I'll try it. Oh, let's see. This is this another one I'm secretly hoping. Yeah. Another one I'm secretly hoping doesn't sell so I can keep it. It's a silk sweater, like a cow neck. You know, I love those high neck lines, Avi. By Banana Republic, and it's kind of got like that bell sleeve. Whoop, that bell sleeve. It's cute, and it's super soft and silky. I love it, and it's in my size. But I'm gonna try to sell it first. I got all the Boston proper bling. More bling, and this one will do really well because it's a cold shoulder and it's got super nice blingage on the straps and all this beading is intact. Like there's not any loose beading on it at, at all. And nice sleeves on it. It's really pretty. And it's on the longer side. Ooh, like a tunic style. Here's another Harley Davidson sweatshirt. The, I don't know why, but the Harley Davidson tag is cut out of this, but the size tag is still intact, so that's weird. Um, but it's a nice sweatshirt. It's got blingage on it. It's a woman's. It's got like that raw edge thing going on. It's got bling. Embroidery. Harley Davidson. Or no, that's velvet. That's kind of cool. It's velvety. Velvety. The next thing I got was Free People Cray Cray. Furry, I don't know, furry, it's furry, that's how I can explain it, it's like an open knit, free people, free people, and there was a poof right next to it, and I'm like, what, two free people in a row, nope, poof, you suck, <laughs> oh, everybody hates that poof tag, because it's the exact same, so it says poof, like poof, haha, -ha, I fooled you, poof, dumb. Um, shout out to, who wrote about this? Somebody wrote about Rising International. That tag right there. And then it's crazy. Like, it reminds me of, um, it's that brand with the crazy prints that everybody loves. Oh my gosh, this has like a million Goodwill tags in it. Like, literally somebody went crazy with the price gun. I hate that. Anyways, um, it's just one of those brands that has the crazy prints on it that people look for. Another Harley Davidson shirt. Just your basic long sleeve, but it's from Las Vegas. It has flames on it in a heart shape with barbed wire. <sighs> oh, some rocker girls going to love it. And then it's got like that on the back. And it's an extra large. So that's all good things. I had a bidding war one time on a Harley Davidson t-shirt. Like just your basic white t-shirt. And it had like pink Harley Davidson writing on it. And it was in a 2X, I think. It was definitely a plus size. And people were cre like going nuts over it. Um, here is a cabbie dress. I'm so sick of seeing cabbie because I went... I had so much cabbie in my inventory, so I'm so sick of it. But I don't have a dress, so this is really nice. It reminds me of the top that I, I have a couple of tops like this, but it's a full length dress. Very pretty. Totally, somebody could wear this to a wedding or whatever. And I have one more clothing item, and then I got some shoes because I do list shoes too. Um, I list a lot of shoes, actually, because I really love shoes. That's my first love, is shoes. Um, this is kind of silly. On the naughty list, probably should keep it for myself because it's very, very accurate. Um, I found a pair of Sorel snow boots. Boop. Th there's, which one? This one has, like, some glue on the front of it. You see that? I think I can scratch that off pretty well. And uh, shine them up. Biff them up. Surreal. Surreal. They're a little beat up. They'll still give me good money. 
there's one Goodwill in my area that prices shoes ridiculously low, like two dollars. Do you see that price tag? Two dollars. And that's like most of their shoes, two dollars. So I get a discount of from two dollars. I can't even get that at the bins. It's pretty awesome. Um, so I get a lot of shoes at my Goodwills. Obviously these are Dansko. I just showed them to you. They're like a purplish, grayish print. Those always do well. And it's set XP, so I'm hoping that means that that's a good one. Um, I found some snowboard boots, and these are Vans, and they're women's. Women's snowboard boots are harder to find, like, nicer ones and in, in nicer brands. And I literally paid $2. Like, I'm not kidding. Where's the price tag? I didn't pay $2. I paid less than $2 because I got a 25% off discount on $2. I'm not going to pass up snowboarding boots, especially brand names ones that are in very good shape. These are Vans. For, like, a dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five, whatever. Um, Calvin Klein's, loafers, I can spit those up nice, some Anne Klein, I like these little mule style Anne Klein's, they're so dainty and cute. Another pair of mule Anne Klein's, but these have the strappy detail in the back. And the tassels in the front. I love anything with tassels. Beep, beep, beep. Incline. I found some Lucky Brands. Everybody's seen these. Everybody knows what these are. I didn't even have to look at what brand they were. I knew exactly what they were. These were three dollars. <laughs> Big whoop. <laughs> I love my Goodwill. Um. These are Franco Sarto, and I paid $2 for them. Little booties. I didn't pay $2. I paid less than. Why do I keep saying that? Because I get a discount on Wednesdays. Um, and Dolce Vita. Little booties. These are suede. Very cute. And I got one more pair to show you guys. I think I had more than that. I could have swore I had more than that. Hmm, I'm missing a pair. I had two of these pairs. I bet you my husband took them out. He probably stole them. <laughs> my husband's looking for a pair of dress shoes. And I bought and I brought him Johnston Murphy dress shoes. And I have these. This is the casual pair that I got. And then I got a pair of dress ones. But they're not in here. He probably took them. <laughs> I must do them back. Um, and I found a Christian Dior tie. Christian Dior. And it was marked $2, but I paid less than that. And that's it. That's what I got. I think I did pretty good. Um, I only went to two stores. Usually I go to more than that. But I was finding some good stuff. And my Goodwills are so cheap. Like... I get really lucky in my Goodwills. A lot of people say they can't find things in my area. But I know the employees. Like, it's pretty cool when you walk in somewhere and they're like, hey, we just brought in this stuff. We just brought in that stuff. Haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Like, I love that. I love that part of being in a small town. I feel like when I go into the bigger cities, and I go into their thrift store, they're just like, they don't even care. They see a million people a day, they don't care. But my stores around here, they're like, hey girl, haven't seen you in a few weeks. Where have you been? What have you been up to? How's the family? And I love it. I love small town life. But that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. That was my haul. Hopefully I'll get this stuff listed. Um, and I will see you guys at eBay Open. I'm super stoked. It's my first eBay open, and I cannot wait. Come say hi to me.